So I'm here, I've made a copy of the spreadsheet. What I want to do is I want to go to the Tools menu and go to the Script Editor. And all you're going to do in here is Edit. So it's nice to do if you want to try and figure out what's going on, but you don't have to. Here's our function. I'm telling you that we're going to use the Active Spreadsheet, Get Active Spreadsheet. So it's this spreadsheet. So we're going to use this spreadsheet to put our events from the calendar. In this line, I'm using Calendar app. I'm going to get a calendar by ID, so I need the calendar ID. So I'm going to go to calendar.google.com. I'm going to go to calendar.google.com, and I'm going to go up here to the settings menu. So I'm going to click on the settings cog, settings. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to find my calendar. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to scroll down until I get to calendar ID. So it's going to say it right on there. So you just need to highlight. It's going to look weird. Just roll with it. Copy. I'm going to come back to the script editor. You're going to highlight where it says put calendar ID in here from the calendar settings. Now notice I did not include the quotation. So I'm going to control V paste. The quotation is very important. It has to have a quote in front and a quote at the end, so it should say quote, parenthesis, semicolon, here in line six. And then you want to just go ahead and edit the dates. So I'm going to put 2018 for obvious reasons. And maybe I want July 1 through July 13. And then this says, do not touch any of this stuff. So I have some little bit more coding that I've done. Ignore it. Don't re don't just mm, save it. And then you're going to look for the run icon. It's the little play triangle. Press that and it will ask you to authorize your code. So you're going to review permissions. Allow. And it should like magic just add a sheet where it lists 